this week's Foundation Friday. I am joined today by Andre Crompton, Senior Vice President of Capital Markets at Wintrust Commercial Finance. Thanks for joining me, Andre. Absolutely. It's an absolute pr pleasure, Jesse. No, and, and, and thank you for your time. And we're here to talk today about the St. Anthony Academy, um, which is obviously something you're extremely passionate about. So um, I just wanted to share your story with the equipment finance community. Um, so I'll just kind of jump right in, Andre. Talk a little bit more about the St. Anthony Academy, if you don't mind. Sure. And again, Jesse, thanks for having me. Um, St. Anthony Academy uh, is a Dallas charter school with about 320 students uh, currently serving uh, kindergarten through eighth grade. And um, the academy currently resides in the Fair Park area of South Dallas, um, where about 85% of the current students um, are economically disadvantaged. Um, about 100% of the uh, racial demographic of the school is currently African American. Um, and to give you a little bit of background on St. Anthony, the school itself, uh, to give you a little history. So the school was established in 1946 and was initially a parochial school um, that was connected to a St. Anthony church and was part of the Catholic Diocese of Dallas. Uh, in, 20, uh, in 2003, the school was converted to a Texas charter and the St. Anthony's Foundation assumed the oversight of the academy and the community center. So it's been a uh, charter school since 2003. Uh, the academy is one of the only um, international baccalaureate schools for primary education in Texas. Uh, the IB curriculum uh, uh, you know, enables students to really view themselves as citizens of the world, so to speak, right? So we um, really empower our students to think about themselves and their impact in society sort of on a you know, more global basis, right? How are your uh, actions and um, decisions you know, impacting the world and your community? So that's pretty, that's the foundation of the curriculum. Um, you know, the school's motto is, my choice, my character. So um, uh, we've been serving the community now for 75 years in our current location. So and um, and and how did you get involved? Yeah, so <laughs> I actually got involved through an ELFA event. Um, okay. Uh, back in 2015, uh, the ELFA had an annual convention in San Antonio, Texas. Um, and ironically, at the same time, uh, there was a teachers' convention happening. Um, there I met the uh, former uh, superintendent of schools for St. Anthony, uh, David Ray. And after a long night of conversation and him talking about the school, uh, you know, we, we developed a rapport and sort of kept in contact. Uh, weeks later, he called me and said, hey, Andre, I want you to consider being a board member. And I said, well, at the time I was working in New York City, living in New Jersey, and here I'm being asked to serve on a board in Dallas, Texas. Um, I initially <laughs> told them no because I just didn't know how I would, uh, you know, fit the commitments, and certainly didn't want to take on a responsibility that I wouldn't able be able to fulfill. And uh, he said, Andre, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll we'll have the meetings around your time frame. You let us know. And you know, so I thought about it for a couple of months. And he came back and asked. I said, okay, I'm making a trip down to Dallas. I'll come down and see the school. Yeah, well, it was it was over from there. Uh, seeing seeing those kids um, in this community um, and and having such a safe space uh, at St. Anthony, and you know, just just observing the stark contrast between you know the loving and caring environment that they had at school um, compared to what was outside the walls of the school was was really enough for me. And uh, it also reminded me of my upbringing, right? I grew up going to parochial school, uh, you know, a couple of towns over because my my community didn't have uh, great great access to schools. So um, that certainly resonated. So I've been on the board now since uh, since 2017. So that's fantastic. And yeah, I mean, I was uh, one of the schools that we. Uh, have donated EFC's donated money to is Ridgewood School. That's where Scott Thacker went. Yes. And um, we actually took the drive after our Ohio event, went and saw the students and everything else. And 
Yeah, it kind of brings it all together, right? Where you <laughs> kind of see absolutely. where your work is going. So what has been the, uh, I guess, almost five years of doing it, or five years now of being on the yeah. board? What's your most gratifying, do you, uh, if you can even point to one thing? Um, yeah, sure. Sure. So, I, and, and I know this off the top of my head because when I was asked, I was honored. Um, a couple of years ago, I got the opportunity to uh, deliver the commencement speech for the eighth grade graduation. So, um, of course, I was like, wait, you guys want me to do it? And I was asked by the uh, student body, and um, that was an absolute honor uh, because, you know, if I, if I had anything to say to um, a group of young kids that, you know, sort of resembled me um, as I grew up. And um, if I could encourage them in any way, uh, that was an absolute honor. So it's probably the highlight. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah I mean, you're like, yeah, that's exciting, but what am I going to say? And I'm nervous. Or, yeah, <laughs> right, <exciting."> right. Yeah. <laughs> so what is the yeah. average? Um, so 300 people, um, you know, so what is it, like 25 kids a class? Yeah, so we try to keep the um, the classroom sizes in that 20 to 25 uh, range. You know, the um, the other constraint is our charter allows us to have 500 students. Our 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 challenge right now is um, our current facility that we have. Um, it, it just doesn't allow. We just don't have enough classroom space to have 500 kids. So we actually have um, any given year up to 100 to 150 kids on a waiting list. Mm. Um, and that's unfortunate, right? Um, yeah. That we have 150 families that want to be part of St. Anthony that just don't have the opportunity because of space. So um, two years ago, the board actually um, went on a uh, mission to find a new location for the school. Um, okay. And we have partnered with a consultant and we have, you know, with through, 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 Prayer and a lot of due diligence. Uh, we found a new location. Uh, we, we're partnering with the um, Women's Museum of Dallas, which is which sits not too far from our current school, but it's part of uh, Fair Park First, which is um, an, an area in uh, South Dallas that is connected to the Cotton Bowl. Okay. So um, the new location is great. Uh, we have to go through a feasibility study, obviously a capital campaign. And uh, you know, we look forward to the heavy lifting that is yet to come. But this will really give us the opportunity to, um, you know, hit several fronts, right? Um, uh, expand St. Anthony's, you know, charter to to our to our capacity, and and really affect you know more change with through more students. No, absolutely. And that was going to go into my next question. And the two might not, ex <laughs> did not exist where it was like when, when people make a donation, where do those donated dollars go? So besides a new facility, where do the donated dollars go uh, when you receive them? Man? Sure. So, so so on a, on a macro level, right, the the um, the school and, and the capital campaign is off off in the distance and that'll be a two-year capital campaign and raising um, funds for that. But on the micro level, right, this the school currently has needs um, at our current facility. And um, specifically, you know, for um, next year, we're looking to purchase two new vans for the school um, at $30,000 each. These vans are going to be used to transport kids for um, ath athletic programming. Uh, it'll also be used to... Um, transport kids for um, uh, field trips and service projects that the school uh, partners with community um, organizations with. So um, all those, all the donated dollars goes directly to the foundation and goes directly to um, programming for, for children or the need that the school may have. And, you know, a lot of it's facility related, some of it's um, technology related, other times it's uh, the vans, for example. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Well, thank you for uh, thank you for sharing that. I mean, hey, if the people watching this, we're in equipment finance. I'm sure we might be able to come up with some vans. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're only asking for two, right? <laughs> just, just, just two. Come just on, two. That's come right. on. Because <laughs> um, that's going to be my my final question for you is when people in our industry, uh, our peers, watch this, Andre. You know, what can they do to you know, help the cause, um, you know, and, and assist with what St. Anthony needs today? Sure. Uh, so just like you said, right, um, you know, we certainly have equipment needs. 
um, uh, lab laptops and computers uh, are always in need at, at at these schools. You know, we're always looking to refresh and upgrade um, our technology. Um, and then just donating through uh, our website, which I'm sure you'll um, get to. Uh, it's it's uh, stanthonydallas.org. And uh, you can click on the community center and go right to the donate page. And um, we also, you know, all 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 donations are are tax deductible. And um, yeah, the the impact is um, is certainly welcome. So. Nope, absolutely. And uh, and after this uh, this video interview, you'll kind of see I'll put some hyperlinks um, after it. So if you guys want to or watching this, check out the hyperlink, check out what the school is doing. I'm sure Andre would welcome a phone call if anyone else absolutely. would like to get involved. Um, but uh, Andre, really appreciate your time today, sir. And thank you for sharing a story about St. Anthony's Academy. Thank you. Jesse, thank you for the opportunity. I really appreciate it. All right, sir. Look forward to seeing you here in a couple of weeks because we're going to have this as a showcase for our uh, for our Pennsylvania event. So, um, oh, I'd love to, to join uh, to have you there. So, absolutely. Thank you. All right, thank you, Andre. 90.